wife and I, twin boys. People ask if we use fertility drugs to have twins, and not unless you count Prozac and tequila as fertility <laughs> drugs. We, we like to say we were blessed with twins because we got the child that we always wanted and one for parts. And uh, <laughs> I had always dreamed of having twins, but in my dreams they were the Olsen twins in a hot tub. It was different, but this is special, it really is. I'm Irish, my wife is Lebanese, so we know they're gonna grow up to be drunken terrorists. You might wanna wait for the punchline before you clap at that. <laughs> uh, it's great though, we, uh, I like being a parent, it's fun. Twin pregnancies, tough pregnancy. First trimester, a lot of vomiting and crying and my wife was having a tough time too. And then <laughs> second trimester, she snapped at me one day and she said, I'd love to see you give birth to a child. And I said, I'd love to see you pee your initials in the snow. We're just different, you know what I mean? I went to every single doctor's appointment with my wife when she was pregnant because I only work an hour a night so I couldn't get out of it. And it's humiliating. You walk into the doctor's office and within five minutes your wife is naked with her feet up in the stirrups and I can't even get her to wear a cowboy hat to bed, you know what I mean? And then, then the doctor comes sauntering into the room and the first thing he does is he conducts what he calls a breast examination. That's what he calls it. I call it going to second base on my wife in front of me. That's what I call it because this, that's not necessary, right? There's no <laughs> medical need for that. What is that, Obamacare? And then, <laughs> and then he says, I'm just looking for lumps. And I'm like, you're gonna find one, fuckface. Keep it up. <laughs> it's a scam. Our final visit to his office, I gave him a urine sample all over his desk. I didn't like him, and I made that clear. He was all right. He actually let me be in the delivery room when the kids were born. Uh, first, they want to make sure you're not going to pass out. So he said, have you ever witnessed childbirth before? And I said, yes, but it was a long time ago, and it was from the inside. But I think I can handle it. And I was fine. It was great. I actually filmed the delivery. I call it the sequel because I also filmed the conception. And that is none of your goddamn business. You'll learn a lot when you become a dad stuff. You don't know you're going to learn. Women have a book called What to Expect When You're Expecting. There's no book for men because they know we're lazy sacks of shit and we'll never read it. So we learn on the job. And the first thing I learned was that Playtex has a synthetic nipple for the top of their baby bottles that is so unbelievably lifelike. <laughs> and you have not lived until you had a gin and tonic through one of these things. Honest to God, that is nirvana. <laughs> You're very kind. We, uh, we child-proofed our home, but they kept getting in. Very frustrating. <laughs> Two boys. My wife wanted to name one of them after her grandfather, but I thought Grandpa was a stupid name, so I vetoed that. And then she suggested Simon, and I said no, because then we'll have to do whatever he says, and I am not doing that, so... Thank God there were boys, because the girl's name we had picked out was uh, Alexa and Siri, so we dodged a bullet there. 